Hi, um, I'm Izzy, and I'm making, this is like a video, um, my like, review response thing, I don't know, um, to the How I Met Your Mother season series finale, there we go, and uh, I know it's really late, but people are still talking about it, so I figured, you know, I might as well go ahead and put my two cents in, um, it's like four in the morning, and be quite honest with you guys, so I'm just seem really tired and out of it, and like my thoughts are everywhere. This is my like a billionth in one take, so I like wrote stuff down. So if I look over here, I'm just reading what I wrote. So like, sorry, okay. Um, I'm gonna start off by saying, like most people, I'm not a fan of the endings. Uh, I'd also like to say that I didn't start watching the show until like. Season 2, I would say. Um, I saw it on TV one day, and I was like, hey, this is a cool show. So I caught up with the first season, and then I started just, you know, watching. <clears throat> and, like, this video has, like, a bunch of spoilers, if you haven't already seen it, but, like, who hasn't? So I just cut right up in there. Number one, um, I think they packed way too much into one episode. Like, in just one hour, Robin and Barney got married and divorced. Marshall and Lily had yet another kid. Barney has a kid with the number 31 chick or whatever. <laughs> we learn Tracy has been dead the whole time. And that Ted has been explaining the whole thing just to say he's still in love with Robin. Again, that's just way too much. Okay. Number two. There's the fact that the show was called How I Met Your Mother, and he ended up with Robin. I mean, I hate to be that person, but technically, they did stay true to the title in the way that he explained how he met the mother. But in the process, he realized he still loved Robin. I don't like the fact. I don't like this fact. But it's his fictional life, so he can do whatever he wants. Or, like, at least what they wrote for him. Okay, three. In numerous episodes, Robin has told Ted she was sorry, but didn't feel the same way about him as he did her. And Ted even let Robin go. Or, at least that's what we thought. I mean, I completely understand that his wife died or whatever, and he wants to get back out there. But, like... For him to get back together with Robin, that makes me assume that he never really got over her. So when he was married with Tracy and had two kids and all that, he still somewhere, even if he didn't know it, was still in love with Robin. And I can see from his point of view of being his love for her since like episode one and he'll always love her. To me, and this may just be like the girl in me, but if you're like married to somebody and you like love somebody else, like that kind of sucks for, I don't know, like interpret it as you may, I don't, I don't really know. <clears throat> um, I've heard a lot of people complaining about how the cast was in on it the whole time and all this all this bull crap. Um but in fact they they really weren't. Um Josh even said in an interview that they would get the script on a Friday, they would read it, and then they would do a table read on Monday. And they didn't even know who the mother was, like who was playing her. Until they had to do the table read with her. Um, and I like that aspect. Because it, you know, kind of kept the mystery alive for them. And they kind of found out stuff along with us to an extent. <clears throat> there is um, also an interview that I was watching that Neil Patrick Harris did. And he said... Well, probably not in this way, but he doesn't really have a problem with the series finale. Um, and he said, and he said, because people want Barney to be this guy you can take home to your mom, but in reality, he's the person who, like, fucks your mom. 
<laughs> and I get that. I mean, I really do. <laughs> That's who Barney is, or was, or I don't, I don't even know anymore. <laughs> because there was like so much character development. They made Barney fall in love with Robin and burn the playbook for Robin, or the fake one, the real one, blew up. But you know what I mean. He planned the rooftop and all this stuff for Robin because he was in love with Robin. <clears throat> and they, as characters, were like so damaged and perfect together. Like, oh my god, were they perfect together? <laughs> oh, sorry, okay. Um. And then they were married for a total of like five minutes before they decided to call it splits. And, I mean, that sucks. We all wanted them together. But, I guess, it's whatever. Because there's nothing that anybody can really do about it now. <laughs> I mean, it does really suck. Um, I hate divorce altogether, but I'm not getting into that. <laughs> <clears throat> um, and then there was the fact that the writers were saying, you know, that's life. And... There's all these twists and turns, and they're trying to keep it real. And I understand that, but there's so many aspects of the show that aren't realistic. It's not a reality show, which aren't even real to begin with. Okay, I'll just rephrase that whole thing. Ugh. <laughs> you know, it's just, oh, I don't even know. Um, but they were saying, you know, the tr twists and turns and stuff, but, like, Dude, people deserve better, like, for lack of better word, closure for this show. For people to have, I'm not going to say people like me, but people like you guys who have been there since day one watching it every Monday night, um, deserve better closure. I mean, people like me do too. Like, everybody does. But, um... And I'm not going to be one of those people that's like, oh, I wasted nine years of my life and how I wasted your time and all that crap. Because, honestly, the show was great. Very iconic show. It had just the right blend of, like, comedy and romance and, like, more comedy, but that's okay. Because I'm fine with that. Um... But it was, it was just a great show in general, and I'm not going to let a crappy ending ruin it. I'll just wait to see what the alternate ending is and swatch that, I guess. Hopefully, that'll be some kind of something better. <laughs> <clears throat> I mean, um, the writers can and did do whatever they wanted to. It's their show. Or was their show, whatever. Um, and since it was kind of based off of their life, and um, they quote said, let's write a show about our friends and stupid stuff that we did in New York. So, I mean, also, getting on the um, How I Met Your Father track, I don't really see that happening. Um, it could happen, and if it does happen, I'm not gonna lie, I probably will watch it. Just not, not maybe not every, every episode, but just to see, you know, what it's about. If it, And I don't think it's gonna happen. And, you know, Allison already said that if they were doing it, the that cast wasn't gonna be a part of it. Um, I think it'd be useless to do a How I Met your father, or whatever spinoff you want to call it, um, there wouldn't necessarily be a point, since we already know how it ended, but, you know, they're making money, so, I guess it's just, funny. but, uh, I know this video is really bad, and I'm really sorry, and I have a really crappy quality camera, and the lighting in here sucks, and there's like a painting of Marilyn Manson like creeping on me the whole time, but, you know, that's just life. Just gotta roll with the punches. But, yeah, so I'm Izzy, and I'm new to YouTube. This is my first video. You guys should totally check me out.
leave some comments about what you thought about How I Met Your Mother and what you thought about some of the things that I had to say. And some suggestions for more things to review. I'm planning on doing like book reviews, movie reviews, just some stuff like that. Just because I'm really bored. It's like vlogging and stuff. So, have a good, have a good day, you guys. Stay golden.